Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rosie O. And today I'm going to do a kit up of that wonderful Timu painting I showed, I believe yesterday. <laughs> and if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. Hey, if you're new to the channel, hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> oh, and if you can like and subscribe, I really appreciate that as well. <laughs> So I did decide I'm going to move forward with that really beautiful painting I showed in my last Timu order haul unboxing of the mountain range with all of the tree with the tree and the kind of fog around the area. I actually started sectioning it and I saw, oh my goodness, I believe I can work on it quickly because it is a lot of it is color blocking. So that's why I decided let me do a kit up of the painting so it has 27 colors and this little box that i love using i have a lot of these i'm not kidding i have a lot a lot of them i purchased them from timu and all the supplies and everything i'm using today i'll put in the description below just in case you're curious or in case you're interested in purchasing out of any of these materials it might be to your liking i have the large tray in case any spills it's a little bit easier that way i found this little tray from one of the paintings I have, and I'm going to try to use this one because I saw that the spout's a little longer. So I might work on pouring into these smaller boxes. So I'm going to test this today to see if it works. My scissors, and I always organize my diamonds right before I'm going to start kitting them up so I can keep them in numerical order. And I don't have to, you know, <laughs> go looking around for the correct number. Only one color has more than one packet. I believe it's around three of them. And I, I'm not going to put them all into the containers. I'm probably going to leave some of them. I'm sorry. I'm going to leave some of the packets on the side. So once I already use the color, I don't have to worry about. Sorry, I just really wanted to see this. Oh, it really worked. Huh. I think I'll use this one moving forward. Especially if I'm getting up in these smaller boxes. And apologies. As I was saying. I can make sure that I just have them on the side and I I know the painting is 27 colors this little storage container is 28 but I'm really really worried that I'm gonna be short so that's why I'm not gonna fill up majority well actually this is not that many I think I can just pour it I wouldn't have to you know use so many for one color I don't want to be short then I already <laughs> put the numbers on the containers so they're already in numerical order, so I think I'll throw it off if I use more than one box of the same color. And I'll get confused. <laughs> I just noticed these little packets have little cuts in them, which really help with static and all of that. So I didn't notice it until I started pouring it. I appreciate that. I really do like that. And this painting and everything, I'll make sure to put in the description below again. The thing I noticed when I did the Timu unboxing for that painting, it's actually sold out. So I do apologize that I noticed it after I usually locate, I try to do it before I do the unboxing and I try to locate it because since if you've never purchased your Timu, you do keep, you do keep an order history of everything you purchase. Makes sense. Almost every website does that. And I checked and again, I saw at the time that, oh, it's still there. I was worried it was one of the, sorry, that it was a painting they removed because team was done that before that's discontinued no luckily i did see it so i did the recording all of that and when i was getting down to put all the information about the painting in description lo and behold the wonderful painting oops sorry i poured that too fast was sold out and i i apologize i do have that kind of luck so i did try to put as much information as i can and if you've never seen a sold out item on Timu before and I'm on number five by the way you can they call it a they call it a subscription well not subscription you can sub subscribe oh my goodness I apologize I don't know why I can't say that word <laughs> subscribe for an email to notify you oh this painting's back in stock and you can move, move forward on ordering it so I was able to subscribe on it because if i do get hopefully an email really soon that it's back in stock i'll make the changes on the description to that video and to this video because i said i'm gonna make the painting as well so if you're interested in it you'd be able to locate it yeah and i do apologize for that it's just 
I don't, myself, I don't control, you know, purchasing and all of that. Oop, I dropped the diamond on Timo because that makes sense. It's worldwide, so, so many people are ordering on the site. So it makes sense why the painting might just randomly sell out. And when I did purchase the painting, it was on the lightning deal. So I wasn't sure of the painting again was back on the deal. Oh, didn't notice that I had another number. It's okay. You know what? I'll pick them up after. <laughs> I don't want to be struggling trying to find that one diamond. And yeah, that's usually my history with paintings. Especially when I record and I'm about to put the info for you all. No, behold, the painting's gone. But I, I like to think that means that a lot of other, you know, diamond painters kind of have the same taste I have in painting. So that's how I think of it. So kind of works out, I think, for Timo. Especially, especially for this painting, since it's such a large one. It works out for them if they see, oh, people keep preferring this large one. They might put more out of the same style moving forward and hopefully more lightning deals and I can get some more paints or all of us can get some more paintings <laughs> I love this color that's how I was kind of looking at it while I was pouring it it's like a nice really really dark magenta I honestly wanted to do this painting if I could on uh I have a tray multi I apologies I don't know what I keep forgetting what it's called it's a little setup of so you can have multiple trays. Well, I guess it's called a tray setup. And just so you can be able to be pulling out different trays while you're painting, especially for a painting that has a lot of color changing. I still cannot find my original tray setup. Well, it's the little slots to hold all the different trays while you're painting. I cannot locate it. And I've been going through all my boxes since I move to this location i can't locate it and i'm really worried that i lost it <laughs> and i yeah knowing my luck i probably super super misplaced it i just keep looking over and over because i actually did there was another painting i wanted to put set out and do a multi-tray setup because that painting was a lot of confetti in it but yeah i, I honestly have no idea where it is i'm getting a little nervous I don't believe I, I could have left it in one of my, sorry, where I have a majority of my storage. I think it might be there, but having to go locate it and dry, the storage unit is, it's pretty far. So that's why I kind of haven't gone over there. But I don't know, hopefully it's there because I don't want to think of the idea that I lost it. And I purchased that tray set up on Amazon. So, I mean, I could purchase another one, but um, I don't, I don't believe I would have space to have, you know, two multiple, sorry, tray setups. I mean, it would work out if I'm working a larger painting. Okay. You know, I would have, I don't know, 60 tray set up put on my desk, but I'm not sure if I would have space for it as I'm holding off on. I thought of it because I've seen other diamond painters have a really, really large tray set up for when they do really, really big paintings. And I really do like the idea of it because I do believe I paint a little faster when I have it set up that way because I wouldn't have to be changing colors. But it's just, it's so many trays and I'm worried that I would, I wouldn't have space for it. And I wouldn't want to invest so money, I'm sorry, so much money into that tray system. And I'm not really going to be able to use it. So, unless I really remove everything off of my desk. That's the next thing I was thinking. Unless I reorganize everything. I could do that, but I don't know. I'd have to think about it. And yeah, I'm just going to pour it because this one was a little, not as much as the other ones I was doing. So this next number, number 13, is the one that has several packets. Oops. Make sure I don't disorganize these. It has three of them. So I kind of do not want to put them in multiple boxes. But I'm going to see which is the one that has left. So I'm going to shake it a bit. And I believe it might be this one. These packets are really, really full. Cool, so I'm worried that one of them might not fit in one container. I should have kind of planned it a little better because i kind of forgot oh there's one that has a lot a lot of diamonds 
that had sorry several packets so that's why I, I, it slipped my mind i would have gladly fixed it probably used two boxes two of these little boxes for this color but totally slipped my mind <laughs> and even though i just recently recorded the unboxing for this painting i don't know why, it's, I, don't know why I forgot and give me one moment i'll be right back Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> so, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I, yeah, as I said, I should have probably planned it a little better. That I should have left probably another container on the side. So I, since I have multiple packets, but that's all right. As long as I have the color on it. And if, as I said, once I finish it, I can always just refill it with another packet. And this one doesn't fit in this one. So what I'm going to do, I just want to make sure I have enough in the container. So all these extra ones, I'm going to put them in a resealable bag. I have a resealable bag that's number, that has the same numbers. So this one was number 13. So I have one that's number 13. I'll make sure to put that, but I'll do it off camera because I don't know. I kind of put them away somewhere. So I would have to really look for them. And I'm going to get a tray really quick just to hold all of these. And I will remember the number. So put this aside real quick. Put these two aside. And there we go. Then we move on. <laughs> so now I'm on number 14. Okay, I should have figured that one of them might not fit in the container, but it's all right. So how are y'all doing? <laughs> Um, I know it's real random that I decided to get this up. Well, I had said in the video I was planning on doing it because the painting just really, really won me over. And it is one of my older paintings from Timu that I had purchased. And I put it aside because, like I probably said in the video, it's a larger one. So that's what I was holding off on it before I started. Sorry, before I decided I was going to unbox it. And I really did want to wait until I was making a decision when I started because it is a larger one but when as I said I started sectioning it off earlier and I did that off camera so or off screen sorry I saw how not as wide as I believed it was and I did have the dimensions before but it's different when you know the numbers and when you actually see it so and when I started sectioning on parts that I'm going to work on I saw oh, you know what this could work up quickly which this painting is kind of giving me an idea so as you all know a lot of my weapon chats that i do on saturdays sorry i was gonna say sunday <laughs> on saturdays a uh, majority of the paintings i show are premium paintings either from well majority of them are diamond art club so i decided you know i should do a couple of whipping chats really short ones during the week, like probably 10 minutes, really short, but I'd be working on a Timu painting. And I actually thought of this one because it's, and I'm pointing at it like it's next to me. <laughs> well, it kind of is of it. Having it hanging on the side of a shelf to straighten out. Just to show the progress of not just that painting, but progress of a Timu painting. Because I show so many of them, but I never show any that I'm currently working on, which I feel kind of bad. So. And then I do know there are a lot of Timu painting bands out there. <laughs> That's the only way I could word that. And, oh, I didn't notice I had a diamond here. That's I was thinking, maybe I should just do random little short whipping shots during the week. Probably mm, twice a week, maybe? I'm not too sure, because I've seen a comment before of a wonderful viewer that... You know requested if i would do a couple more whipping chats and usually i've always done just one during the week or on the weekend sorry and so it got me curious would you all be interested in more whipping chats of course some of my whipping chats are just so random <laughs> and i was thinking of putting a poll out in the community tab that just pretty much the question would you want to see more whipping chats that's it <laughs> And especially since I'm starting a new job, I'm real curious if, you know, there's any stories that are, you know, 
topics that can come up that I wouldn't mind talking about it. And that was the other thing. I was thinking maybe making it a little bit more organized. Meaning, if I'm going to do, let's say, a weapon chat on Tuesday, for example. Should I pick a topic of, okay, this weapon chat we're going to talk about. I don't know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite ice cream, for example? Of course, I probably wouldn't pick it. Well, actually... There's a lot of people that love ice cream out there. <laughs> this one as well, it all didn't fit. So I'm going to make sure to put it in a bag. I, something like that. And it'll be 10 minutes. Because I picked 10 minutes because it's it's a lot faster. And if you just want a quick kind of, you know, if anyone that wants to listen or watch, it can be real quick. You know, I think of every time I, and originally I did do my whip and shots around eh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. But then... While well, you're working on a painting, and I'm sure all of us can <laughs> kind of understand that, especially if you're doing a painting, you kind of lose track of time and you're just painting, placing, thinking, you know, oh, I need to, you know, I'm going to get ahead on this part. I'm about to finish this section. And, you know, your mind kind of keeps drifting, you know, especially when placing diamonds. Whoop, sorry, that one does not want to come out. <laughs> Let me pour some more and I think we'll push it out. And that's why now my whip and shots are not that quick anymore. <laughs> I see it. the last one I had, I believe, was almost 40 minutes. And I started thinking, oh my goodness, that's not a quick whip and shot, Rosie. Come on. <laughs> so that's why the 10 minute thing idea popped into my head. Thinking, well, what if people just want a quick one? Just to listen. Oh, wonder what Rosie's doing. Or, oh, let me, you know. I'm at lunch at work and I want to hear or watch or, you know, whatever. Something real quick. I do that. When I was working in an office before, I would pull up. I would be on the side with my tablet because sometimes I would eat away from my office. And I'd just be, I'm just putting everything back. Again, this one's going to have to go in the bag. Goodness, there were more knees than I thought. And I would just pull up a real quick, you know, five, ten minute. Yeah, I've seen some 10 minute YouTube videos and sometimes it's just video game news or info or anything like that because I love watching those kind of videos. I'm not sure what diamonds is, so I'm going to put it here. So I thought, hmm, what if I do the same thing but about diamond painting? Oh. <laughs> and of course, I would have to check. Oh, I just noticed I put the wrong number again, didn't I? Oh my goodness, I do that a lot. Were there two packets? Oh, there were two packets of 18. Huh, I didn't notice that, as you can see. Huh. Okay. Now I have to change everything. <laughs> it's all right. I'll reorganize everything off screen again. I really thought only 13 would have had multiple packets. I really forgot this. Oh, I remember now. So the strip originally... For this number was put on the side so that's why I didn't notice oh the as you all have seen the strips sometimes with some of the paintings the diamonds in you know that they're all connected together usually they try to keep the same number for the packet so as you all saw with that peachy color I did how all the packets were joined together this number number 18 it totally slipped my mind. They split it. So the end of one... It was two strips for this painting. So the end of that strip... Split. And the second strip started with the second packet of that color. It totally slipped my mind. And sorry, this one just died up static. Let me get everything out. It totally slipped my mind. And I noticed it when I was organizing the diamonds. That, oh my goodness, there's one. That they, you know... That helped me out. <laughs> it split the strip. And yeah, I didn't even... Oh, and this one has static. Yeah, I have my dryer sheets here. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I didn't catch that. Which means I would have to put all of those in a Ziploc bag. Which I don't mind. As I said, I have some of that number. This one really had static in it. Let's see if I can get some of it to go back in there. And I usually, for these trays, what I do, because since I use them a lot for whenever I do kit-ups. Sorry, I keep hitting the wire, so I'm trying really hard not to see. I'm sorry, to make sure it doesn't... 
my microphone doesn't disconnect so give me a minute oh there we go I put it aside because it's happened to me before that i'm recording and i accidentally tapped the wire too hard and that's why one of my videos i recorded probably over 40 minutes and i didn't notice oops sorry i'm just gonna get sorry about that I'm going to get a tray to put all these pink ones aside because they have a lot of static, so I'll have to do that off camera. Sorry for the tapping noise, too. Ooh, they really don't want to let go. Oh, and I was saying, uh, these trays, I try to run a dryer sheet on it so that diamonds try not to stick. But sometimes the static is not that merciful. <laughs> so let's move on to the next one. Sorry about that. So I am now on number 20. <clears throat> Oh, and as I was saying, that's why I thought, let me just do a 10-minute whip and chat during the week. Because maybe you're doing that work and you just want to see or hear, oh, let's see what's going on with Rosie or what she's going to talk about or anything like that. That's why I thought of that. So stay tuned for that. I'm um, thinking of an idea, but I am going to open a poll, you know, because it would mean I would change probably a lot of the videos that I put out. Which I know that just the random kid, you know, the channel would change a bit of what videos are putting out. And I am going to try really hard, even when I'm starting my new job, to put videos every day. But it's a lot more difficult when you're working a full-time job. So I'd have to really organize how I'm going to do that. I don't want to say worst case scenario because that is such a bad term for it. But I'm thinking if I have to, I might put videos every other day. So let's say I put a video on Monday, Tuesday I won it, and then Wednesday I put a video. That's what I mean by every other day. That's if I have to go down that route, if I can't handle putting a video every day. But if I'm doing real quick videos, wouldn't be a problem doing them every day. That's how I understand it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be honest, I'm actually about to run out of Timu paintings I can show because I have to wait, save a bit, and I am actually planning to do a really, really large Timu order because that's probably some of y'all have seen, and I've seen a couple comments state that that they've seen Timu prices for, especially for their paintings, have gone up. So that's why I have to save a little bit, organize a little better, and pick and choose what paintings I want to order. And since Timu does take a couple weeks before you receive your order, that's why it'll fall behind when I'm going to record and show a new paint. That's why I've been looking at Amazon more because I have Amazon Prime, so which means two days. And as I stated in one of my Amazon unboxing paintings, sorry, I'm making sure that one went through, <laughs> that Amazon has been lowering the prices on their paintings have been discounted and the last time when i did that order they were having a sale so that's why i was really excited that oh their diamond paintings are getting discounted which i still have a couple of amazon paintings so stay tuned for one of those videos <laughs> but don't worry i'm not gonna i do love buying timu paintings i really do and to me they are a good deal especially if you order in bulk like rosie does Honestly, I don't know where these diamonds came from. I believe it might have been the painting I had in, in this storage set. But stay tuned for that. If there are any changes, I'll make sure to let you all know. Who knows? Maybe in one of my 10-minute whipping chats. <laughs> and so that was 25 and now 26. Yeah, some of them barely have any diamonds in them. Because these, so I don't really need to trade for this. I do like the idea. I just need to, I think I need to run a dryer sheet on it again. And I think that's why I was having issues pouring some of the diamonds out. I have to organize all of this again. I can't believe I opened another bag when I didn't have to. I got so confused. It totally slipped my memory. So now I'm on number 27, which is the last one. Mm, I don't think I need the tray for this one. And yeah, I really just wanted to mention that. So I'll probably put that poll probably the end of today. I'm sorry, after this video. Probably in the afternoon. Just because I do want your, you know, y'all's feedback. 
especially for a lot of my returning viewers by the way thank you so much <laughs> and you see a sudden change of whoa why isn't you know she's showing so much timu paintings or something like that i just want to keep you all posted so you all know what's going on and the reason i pick up that topic is because this wonderful painting is what i plan to use for those quick little 10 minute whip and chats like i said i want to show more timu paintings I don't just have them on the side. And my 20 by 20s, as you've all probably seen, I do finish them quickly. And I do make sure to give you all a review of them. Because I love my little 20 by 20s. And yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see, all the diamonds. I love all the color. And I can start, you know, placing some of the diamonds. And I'll keep you all posted about the whip and chats. And as I said, I'll make sure to put a poll because I do want your feedback. And... We'll leave it up to fate to see what happens next. <laughs> and I'll make sure everything here, all the supplies and all that, I'll put them in the description below in case any of these will help you out as well. And again, if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, all I ask is if you can do the usual. If you can like and subscribe, I really appreciate that as well. Really helps put the channel out there and it allows, really allows me the opportunity to show all of these wonderful diamond paintings we love to do even our kid ups <laughs> and again thank you for your time and have yourself a wonderful day thank you